Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me. Thank you for being here today. Hope that you're doing well. Hope that you're out in the world shining. Women over 60 are not invisible. This is our time and it's this beautiful time of the year when we get a chance to get out and be expressive and hopefully travel some. But um, of course, we're going into a new season now. This is the autumn season, which is actually my favorite season. I love it. It's just um, a combination of sunny days, but cooler wet, cooler winds, cooler air. It's a freshness um, in in the world and I just love it and um, well this part of the world where we are in, in the in the western hemisphere is going through a beautiful autumn season right now yes there are storms mother nature gets a little bit turbulent during this time but um, on the whole I think this is a great season and what happens um, along with all the changes in nature is a change in the colors that are coming into fashion and on trend in the world now there's an institute called Pantone Institute uh, that determines colors that are going to be be popular in a certain year and they look at all kinds of um, different factors for the annual color and it's around society you know cultural issues and economics and they choose colors that they feel are resonant of that world in you know, a state and last year or this year 2021 they actually chose um, two colors which I thought were really interesting they were they were gray and one was called ultimate gray and the other one was called Illuminating Gray. And those were the two colors that they felt were going to be on trend for 2021 in clothing, in home decor, in just what you would see in, in the shops. And they also chose a yellow color. Now, those of you who know me know that yellow is not my color. So when I saw that, I was like, mm, I'm just not resonating with 2021 with the Pantone Institute. But um, that's their annual choice and that will carry us through till the end of 2021. They also do seasonal colors, and they do colors that they believe are going to be popular this season. And they base that on the colors that they see on the runway shows, the fashion shows. Now, whether or not that matters to you or whether you follow them or you care what, what you know, designers are, are using in their color choices, it's interesting. And I wanted to share with you today the colors that have been chosen by the Pantone Institute for the trend um, of clothing and, and decor even out, you know, in, in other um, in things in society too, maybe cars and other um, you know elements. But these are the colors they've chosen. Now, I am not an expert on color or fashion. I know I love it, and I'm interested in it myself personally. But I looked at a website by a woman called J um, Jamie Lee, and Jamie Lee has a website where she talks about clothing and fashion and colors. And I would just, you know, suggest you go out and check it out. I'll put her link uh, to the her to her YouTube channel in the section below this video. There's a little uh, note that says "See more," and if you're looking on your PC, just go under into that section, and you'll see the description. And on your phone, there's a down arrow and you'll find everything under this video. I want to give her credit though, because she is the one whose colors um, uh, are inspired me. I'm going to show you a printout from her page and just chat about it and see what you think about the colors for 2021. Now, there's gonna be classic colors that are kind of like the background colors. I'll show you those in a second, but these are the colors that she chose um, based on, well, she didn't choose them, Pantone chose them, and she talked about them um, for 2021 autumn season. Okay, now it's going to be blurry <laughs> on this on the screen here, but those are the colors. Okay, so let's go through them. Um, you can see that blues are are big, but they're not like sparkling turquoisey blue. They're they're blue. Um, in fact, the whole trend for pastels is this dusty dusty pastel, so the blues, and that one's called Mykonos Blue, and the other one is Spring Lake, Mykonos Blue and Spring Lake. There's also a touch of fuchsia, which is um, fuchsia fedora. By the way, you can go onto Pantone and find all of this, and they've got numbers, you know, very specific Pantone numbers, but the fuchsia fedora I love is my pink color, but it is beautiful. It's a kind of, a, again, a dusty pink color, and then there's another pink, which is called Pink Rosette, this is a pastel pink, but you'll see, you notice it's kind of a musty, musty, dusty, dusty pink. And I've got some clothes and things I'm picking up, just t-shirts, and I'll, I'll perhaps share those with you in another video, but uh, they're just starting to come into the shops now. This top I'm wearing um, is, I love this color. It's a, a green, it's a marini green. It's not emerald, it's not moss, it's not 
um, you know, like a light uh, 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 green. It's actually a dark, solid green. And that's um, this color. Well, on this t uh, chart, it's called um, le Leprechaun. Now, of course, apparently, according to, to her, th th this is going to be the trend. Green is going to be one of the big trends for the fall season. And it's a spectrum of greens with this kind of not so much that vibrant green, maybe not so much lime green, but more this kind of darker green here. And that's going to be the spectrum of green. There's um, another green, which is, is it showing up here, but it's more like um almost like a bluey green, like a, they called it marine green. But this one, Leprechaun, apparently is... Is going to be very popular. Also, there's kind of a, a, a trend towards browns. Now, I love brown and I don't wear very much of it, but um, I'm going to try to find a nice top in a brown that's not a chestnut brown, but there's one here called Root Beer. Can you see this one here? I know this is not terribly good light for the colors, but this one's called Root Beer. But then there's a coppery one too, which is called um, Fire Whirl. So this is one here, root beer, and then fire whirl. And then there's also another brown, which is called adobe. Now this, I'll just put on this side, it might be a, a bit easier with the light, adobe. So there's actually three colors of brown here that I think are really fun. And she was um, showing on her video, which I'll, I'll leave a link to, how there's like brown jeans coming into, into the fashion now and also brown tops. But I think it's really, really cool. Now there is, uh, let's see, what have I missed? Oh, of course, I've missed the one I don't like the, the most, the one I, 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 I don't like at all yellow. But I, I don't have a visceral thing with yellow. I don't know what it is. But there's one yellow which is very popular and apparently going to be on trend this uh, autumn, and it's called, I can't even read the, the name of it, it's in, um, looks like it's illuminating, illuminating yellow. So that's another color that I think is going to be probably not in my shopping basket, but it's there, and if you love yellow, it's definitely going to be on, um, on trend. Purple is another color, and there is actually a purple here. Can you see it, Rhodonite? Rhodonite is right here. Rhodonite is a dark, deep purple. And I've seen lots and lots of um, uh, clothing tops in, in different shops in that kind of purpley shape. But lilac it isn't on this list, but, uh, or at least not in a, a picture, but it's actually everywhere. And uh, according to other bloggers who I've been watching, lilac is going to be a really big color. So lilac is um, one of my favorite colors. I love purples of all kinds, pinks and purples, and that's going to be um, in the Pantone family for autumn 2021 as well. So maybe you've seen things in your neighborhood, in your shops that are supporting this uh, trend towards musty pastels or dusty pastels, that kind of muted grayish um, tone of pink and blue and even green, but then these strong green colors. I'm actually wearing green eyeshadow today too. And I'm going to do a video, <laughs> can you see? <laughs> I'm going to do a video on green um, eyeshadows and, and green tonal um, effects for makeup, uh, another point, another time. But I just I just felt like wearing green makeup today and it's really pretty. It's a little um, palette by Essence, which is a drugstore brand under $3. And that's the color of the, of the eyes that I've done today. But green is so pretty with hazel eyes, with blue eyes, and um, I think that color, this particular green color, is going to be a favorite for me. So what is your, what are your favorite full colors? So what do you love? Thank you, Jamie Lee, for putting this little list together uh, based on the Pantone selections. Uh, check out Pantone. I'll leave a link to that as well. And uh, the Institute um, has got lots of information on colors and how they come about deciding which is, you know, hot on trend for the season. And uh, let us know what you love. What are you reaching for? I know when I went out yesterday into the shops, I was thinking about colors. I actually am knitting a scarf right now, which has got all kinds of these greens and blues and musty, or I keep saying musty, but dusty pinks. And I don't know, I did that by accident. I didn't even intend to do it, but I love my, um, my autumn scarf. But anyway, let's have a chat. Let's have a chat about color. I think it's the one thing that we can do to, to bring out the best in how we feel inside. There's certain colors that resonate, that give us strength and confidence. And that's what we need during this crazy time when the world is topsy-turvy. Color can bring life and uh, confidence and enthusiasm into what we're wearing. So tell us what your full f um, favorite colors are, what you're purchasing, if anything, but um, kind of what you're drawn to. And we'll have a conversation. 
I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Um, please check out our other channels. And if you like this one, please uh, put, give it a thumbs up so that other women can be shown it by um, YouTube's magical algorithms. And also subscribe if you love these videos and press the notification bell so that you'll be told when new videos go up. I do four every week and you'll find them all here on YouTube. I love doing these for you. I hope that you find them inspiring. So have a fantastic day, week, wherever you are. Enjoy the autumn season as it's coming into, into blossom and look forward to reading your comments on your favorite full colors. Okay, everybody, take really good care. Bye-bye for now.